They keep coming, all right. Just me. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. You were saying before. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean Let's to, get Mrs. Out of here. Adler. Okay, let's go. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? Uh. Wait for me! Don't leave us again, John. So, like you were saying before... You're, you're a dead woman! And you are a dead man! The Lobos will not forgive this! <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you! And we will kill you! You! And anyone who is close to you! I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita Hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. $5,000. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Well, I hope they know just where to find me because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fight and the killing. Here we are, back again. Looks like. Let's just finish this. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Santa Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner.
How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. A house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four tack to cat head. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives? What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives? And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's break it out and then our hands to see. Yeah! <laughs> John! Get out here! Uncle's gone! He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! <sighs> that fat man will be fine. No, he won't. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. Let's go. We can't leave this waiting. Yeah, yeah! I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about it. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do to try and get him back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving it. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp, but it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him? Did you hear something? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? I don't know. I guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. There, to the right. Two skins. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They're down. Move. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on.
Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Let him go. Hold it. Easy, easy. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick, he won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. He was talking about uncle. He's alive. Mm -hmm. Come on, they've passed, let's go. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. It might lead us to the camp. <laughs> Keep on him. What do you see? He's picking up... The poor bastard's dead. He's walking with the body? We must be close. Let's take him down, before he gets to the rest. Okay, let's go. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. God, we gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? I don't care. Come on, uh, Charles. Uh, 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 behind you.
down to you. I gotta get you down. Okay, we've got some time. Let's get Uncle. Help me with him. You're okay, old man. I look okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got him. Oh. Oh, looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him.
He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. I don't feel good. Over here. Almost back. Hang in there, old timer. Does it look okay? Get back up. We need to get him home. Ah, I can't, I can't hit my back. <sighs> Uncle. Uncle. Hey. We're here. All right. Let's get you done. You can see. I got you. I got you. Oh, come Let's on. get him out. Oh, thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. You know, I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. Oh, you're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're gonna be safe here, John. Hmm? You, your family, you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. Always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! That's a girl. You'll be fine, girl. Stay put.
So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie! <laughs> You're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> Well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm sorry. I you thought I... You well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> well, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but tell me about you, darling. No, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking... Maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family, bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. <sighs> what is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. Well, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Say your goodbyes, John. We're off. Yeah! You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place, finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch, you were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was, it was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. Yeah, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think I know I want it. OK. I guess I thought you were married already long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. Let's ride! Yeah! We're cutting off the main track up here. My man's in need of post. Coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall. 
Thurwell been trying to live like an outdoorsman? Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. Up here. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. Hmm. The fella left in quite a hurry. Here. Oh, he was from the south, whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. up here. State of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out. Come on. Two shoes. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! <laughs> 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 Gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out of here! Before I come in there and kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here! Come here. <laughs> Thurwell, call yourself a man? Well, it's like Abigail says. That's one word for you. I can't believe we didn't kill that bat. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You all right, John? Yeah. Ah. Just... <laughs> 
always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this? Ugh. I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I spend my cap. Who's this up here? Is that, are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? The bounty hunter? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for you professionally, but if that's Marshall Thorwell there, uh, me and my partner would like to split the reward. For doing what? Get off the road! We was thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection. Uh, me and my partner, we're dead set on splitting that reward. And if not, well, we said we was gonna have to take all of it. <laughs> you and your partner are just chill. Great. Don't get yourselves hurt. Now, son. I told you she wouldn't listen. Drop! Get him! We gotta get there. Come on! Huh? You don't mess around, do you? Let's go. Yeah. That bastard was green. If we didn't get him, someone else would have. Whoa! This is a cold business, ain't it? Yep. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall, and I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Micah. You gonna tell me what you know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work, that's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you think about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I understand all of that. Of course I do. Okay, then. Here, put him down. Go on. Get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. Get out of my way! 